Hi there! Welcome to our learning activity video on Math Box for Senior High School General Mathematics. Our objective, the learner solves problems involving exponential functions, equations, and inequalities. Solutions to the Senior High School General Mathematics, Quarter 1, Week 7B. Exercises number 1. Directions. Solve the following problems. Write your solutions in your answer sheet. Number 1. The number of flowers found in Iloilo Esplanade is decreasing at a rate of about 1.3% every year. If in one year, there are 5,000 flowers in the Esplanade, how many will there be in two years? For the solution, we have given rate R equals 1.3% and that is converted to decimal we have 1.3 divided by 100 so it's equal to 0 0.013 and every year there are 5,000 flowers at t equals 0 there are 5,000 flowers based on the given the equation that models the value let's call it variable capital V of the number of flowers after t years is v of t equals the initial amount 5,000 times the quantity 1 minus the rate 0 0.013 close quantity and raise it to t. Solving this for 2 years, we are asked for the number of flowers after 2 years. Hence, there will be v of 2, so meaning we have to substitute t equals 2, t is in years, so we have v of 2 is 5,000 times, we just copy this, and then instead of writing t, we have 2. So, computing this in your scientific calculator, we have 4,870 flowers in 2 years. Number 2, Mr. De La Cruz purchased a car worth 650,000 pesos to drive his children to school. The value of the car depreciates at a rate of 9% each year. Find the value of the car after 8 years. For the solution, at t equals 0, we have the initial amount or the purchase value of the car which is 650,000 pesos. The rate R, of course, is given 9%. Converted to decimal, we have 0 0.09. And we are to find the value of the car at t equals 8 years. The equation that models the value V of the car after t years is V of t equals the initial or the purchase amount, 650,000 times 1 minus the rate, raise it to t. Hence, the value of the car after 8 years is V of 8, substitute it to t equals 8 here. Then, we have 305,664 pesos and 14 centavos. So, if Mr. De La Cruz decided to sell the car after 8 years, this is the value of the car. Moving on to number 3. An adult takes 500 grams of ibuprofen. Each hour, the amount of ibuprofen in the person's system decreases by about 25%. How much ibuprofen is left after 12 hours? For the solution, at t equals 0 is the initial amount of ibuprofen, which is 500 grams given. It is present in the person's system. Then the hourly rate of decrease is 25% or 0 0.25. We are to find the amount in grams of ibuprofen in the person's system after 12 hours. The equation that models the value of V of the amount ibuprofen in the person's system after T hours is V of T equals 500 times quantity 1 
minus 0 0.25 raised to t. And substituting the amount or how much is the amount after 12 hours. So we have to find V of 12, which is 500 times this quantity 1 minus 0 0.25 or this is 0 0.75 raised it to 12. So meaning after 12 hours, there will be 15.84 grams out of 500 grams initial amount. Exercise number two, directions. Solve the following problems. Write your solutions in your answer sheet. For number one, a certain radioactive substance has a half-life of 15 days. This means that every 15 days, half of the original amount of the substance decays. If there are 200 milligrams of radioactive substance today, how many milligrams will be left after 45 days? For the solution, let capital T equals 15 days and we have small t equals 45 days. Then we have P sub 0 is the initial amount which is 200 milligrams. And we are to substitute these three given in the given formula. P of t equals P sub 0 times quantity 1 half because we are talking about half-life. Raise it to small t all over big T. And we are to find P of 45. Substituting this P of 45 to here we have 45 for small t. Then the capital T is 15. So by calculating, we have 25 milligrams. Hence, 25 milligrams of the radioactive substance will be left after 45 days. Moving on to number 2. A 0 0.5 gram sample of radioactive iodine-131 has a half-life of 8 days. After 40 days, how much is left? Solution. So we are to plug in the given capital T equals 8 days, small t is 40 days, and P sub 0 is 0 0.5 gram. And substituting this for values to the given formula P of T equals P sub 0 times quantity 1 half, raise it to T all over capital T. So P of 40 equals 0.5 gram times 1 half, raise it to 40 all over 8. And we are given the value 0 0.02 gram. Hence, after after 40 days, there will be 0.02 gram of the radioactive iodine dust 131. Enrichment activity. Directions. Solve the following problems. Write your solution in your answer sheet. For number one, during a normal breathing, about 12% of the air in the lungs is replaced after one breathe. Write an exponential decay model for the amount of original air left in the lungs if the initial amount of air in the lungs is 500 milliliters. How much of the original air is present after 20 breaths? Solution. Let A sub 0 equals the initial amount of air in the lungs and that's given to be 500 ml. And let B equals times of breaths equals 20. And R equals 12% equals 0 0.12. And substitute this given to the formula A of B equals A sub 0 times quantity 1 minus R raised to B. For letter A, A of B equals, this is the model that was asked in the problem. And we are asked to find the air or the presence of air after 20 breaths. So A sub 20 equals 500 times 1 minus 0 0.12 raise it to 20 equals 38.78 ml. Hence, 38.78 ml of the original 
air is present after 20 breaths. Number two, radon has a half-life of 3.8 days. After 9.5 days, 7.2 grams remain. What was the mass of the original sample? Solution, let capital T equals 3.8 days, small t equals 9.5 days, and P of 9.5 is equal to 7.2 grams. What is P sub 0 in grams? Substitute the given to the formula. P of T equals P sub 0 times 1 half. Raise it to the exponent. Small t all over capital T. So we are given P of 9.5 which is 7.2 grams. And plug in this copy paste. P sub 0 here times 1 half. And then small t is 9.5 and capital T is 3.8. We are to solve for P sub 0. That is what is asked in the problem. So we have solving this, isolating P sub 0, and solving this using a scientific calculator is equal to 40.73 grams. Hence, 40.73 grams was the mass of the original sample. For number 3, Suppose a radioactive substance decays at a rate of 2.6 per hour. What percent of the substance will be left after 4 hours? Solution at t equals 0. Of course, obviously 100% of a radioactive substance is present. Now, it says here it's 2.6% for the hourly rate of decay. Or convert it to decimal, it's 0.026. We are to find the percent of substance left after 4 hours. So the model is V of T equals the initial amount 100 times the quantity 1 minus 0 0.026 raised to T. And we are asked to find the percent of the whatever is the total number or amount of substance. We are to find what percent of the substance will be left after 4 hours. So V of 4 is equal to 100 times 1 minus 0 0.026 close quantity here. Raise it to 4. 89.99% or simply 90%. Hence, the percent of substance left after 4 hours is 90%. And so this concludes our learning activity video in this topic for quarter 1, week 7b. And see you in my next learning activity video. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe in this learning activity video so that you will be prompted every time I get to upload new learning activity videos. This is your teacher Marichu saying always stay happy, healthy, and safe. God bless.